Hey YouTube, it's Retro Sin Man, and uh, got a quick little tutorial for you guys today. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to export um, images or video files from your um, from Cinema 4D, like render settings. So uh, if you open up Cinema 4D, uh, I have a basic image here. Um, it could be a video too. It, it doesn't matter if it has some frames on it. Um, it could be a video. Uh, we're gonna come out to this little uh, thing here for the render settings. And uh, for the general, we're just going to have full render. For the output, I usually like to put my width at 1280 by 720. And the height at 720, I mean. Like that. And the resolution at 100. Uh, just like that. And if you come down the frame range, uh, if it's a video, change it to all frames, which will change it so it, it renders every single frame if it's since it's a video. But if it's just a image change it to current frame and that will just save the um, image that you have on there and go to the save option make sure it's checked and uh, make sure save is checked like that and then for the file we're gonna come over here um, to this little dot 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 button click that and uh, you'll get another save window like this save it wherever you want I'll just save mine to my desktop for now and then s for the file name change it to whatever you want I'll just put test and then hit save and for the format, change it. Make sure you guys change it to PNG. If it's an image, if it's a video or like an intro or whatever, change it to AVI Movie or QuickTime Movie um, for video um, files. But if it's just a still image, change it to PNG. Uh, make sure you check Alpha Channel too. If it is a PNG or just a still image, that will make it so if you want to put it in Photoshop or something, it'll have a, a transparent background. Um, it won't have like a black background when you try to put it in there or something. Go to multipass and uh, you don't need anything for this. You don't even have to have this checked. Just leave it as it is. Anti-aliasing. I'm not sure how to say it. Um, change the anti-aliasing to best. And uh, make sure the filter's on still image. It should be already. And uh, if you have a... just Yeah, just leave everything how it is. <coughs> um, for best settings. And then uh, if you want to have more of a deep shadow in your um, in your image, like if you really want the shadows to pop out, you can go to Effect, Ambient Occlusion, change the maximum ray length up to 300, and uh, that will give it some really deep shadows, make it look a lot more 3D. And then you can exit out of that window. And uh, here's a preview of what it will look like. Um, I'm going to let this render real fast. I'll pause the video for it to get done, and I'll show you guys the final image. Alright, guys. So, here's the uh, finished um, finished image. Uh, it is saved on my desktop, exactly where I saved it. Here it's at. Here it's at. Here's the image. Um, if you open it up, it looks great. has a transparent background. Wait for it to open. has a transparent background, as you can see. Um, it has really nice edges and it looks really nice. So, uh, and uh, if it's a video, it should look pretty nice too. It just might take a while to render, um, especially if you have ambient inclusion or any of that stuff on it. But guys, I hope you liked this tutorial on how to uh, render images or videos from Cinema 4D. I will uh, see you guys in my next tutorial. If you have any tutorials you'd like me to make for you, please message them to me. Thanks for watching this one by Retro Sandman, and I will uh, see you guys in my next uh, video. Uh, peace out.